Good morning, my friends. We're gonna start our day with some green tea and a little half a lemon here. You know, get our digestion going. Green tea. We're, you know, remember today's a new day. It's a it's a beginning of a whole new outlook for us. And today we are kicking some butt. So green tea before anything on an empty stomach with some fresh lemon. And then remember, my friends, today is a good day to have a good day. We're gonna do something today that's gonna make our tomorrow better. Something wonderful is gonna happen today. We are taking back control of our lives we are going to put our best effort into being exactly who we need to be what we need to do and i'm pumped so hopefully you are too and let's start this day all right so i've had my tea we're going to go ahead and turn down the exposure here because it's real bright i've had my tea i did my journaling i told you i've been doing five positive or like five things i'm grateful for and just writing them down in the morning and i'm hungry now and it's about 9 20 and yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take just one of these cactus leaves, just one for myself, and we're gonna slice that up and we're gonna fry it, and I'll, I'll show you how I do it. But yeah, so I'm only gonna use one for right now, and I'm going to mix it with some egg whites and some Trader Joe's light Mexican blend cheese, and I'll probably have it on top of a low carb wrap. Cactus has so many health benefits, guys. It's like one of the best things that you can eat. So um, I highly recommend it. I get mine at the produce market and I just get them already like um, with the pricklies taken off. You can get them with those and take them off yourself. Or I mean, I know if maybe you can't find it, they do have it in the jar. I've never had them in the jar. If you're going to buy them, I would just recommend really, really rinsing them um, when you do it. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and slice this up and I'll show you how I cook it. All right, so I just slice them into thin pieces. I do cut off like the little base part right here, if you guys can tell. Let me just kind of put it. So you guys can see just a little base of it. And I did measure these. So this is about four ounces. So I put a little bit of uh, extra virgin olive oil in there. And you're going to want to let these cook. You're going to notice they're going to get a little like slimy. That's normal. Just cook them down for a little bit. I just add a little bit of salt and pepper. And that would be all. But you could see kind of the slime but it's fine don't worry don't let that ruin it for you it's normal so. okay so here is once I noticed that the cactus was getting kind of crispy and they were thin and you know not as stiff I just added 200 grams of egg whites and I'm just gonna cook that with them and then I'm gonna add my cheese it's real easy um, the cactus really is very low for calories and it's super low for any type of carb but it's pretty filling and it has a lot of nutrients in it so it's one of those things where it kind of helps you know fill you up but it also gives you all the good stuff that you need and it's low like i said in calories and carbs so we will be tracking everything using the lose it app so i'll show you that as well and yeah so we're gonna add in i don't know we'll see there Probably about a fourth of a cup of the light Mexican blend. I do weigh out everything using my scale. Okay, guys, here is like my cactus omelet. I just added a couple pickled uh, carrots and jalapenos because I like them. And you can see there's cheese and it's nice and full. I mean, I didn't fold it the best, but you know, it's pretty thick and you have the cactus in there. And then I have a little uh, wrap. And these are the wraps I'm using right now, the Ole Extreme Wellness High Fiber, they're four net carbs. I like them, but this is so good. I promise you will love it, and it's super healthy, and it will keep you full. All right, guys, so I'm running a little bit late today because we have the plumbers here finishing up everything, so it's going to be a little loud, but I'm going to have my coffee. It's about 10 o'clock, so yeah, I'm going to have some coffee in my Christmas mug because, you know, that's cool. Um, I'm going to have the Starbucks Cinnamon Dolce which is like our favorite right now. I'm gonna add in the Cinnamon Toast Keto Collagen, which I absolutely love. I think it's so good. So definitely recommend that. If you guys want to try it out, I have a link down below for a discount, but it is fire. And I'm gonna throw in some half and half. So that's gonna be our coffee roundup this morning. So let's do this, huh? Shall we? Let's go. Let's go. All right, I did share this in my video on Monday, but this is the my fit journal. I got this off of Amazon. This isn't necessary, but you know, um, I like to write stuff down. So, and I'm not really a planner person, but I thought this might, you know, kind of help me stay on goal. 
and I'm gonna tell you what I am I, I thought it was allergies I'm thinking I might even have like a little bit of a cold so I'm not feeling <laughs> the best but we're gonna keep persevering through it okay so today is 28 and I weighed in 190.2 okay so yeah so every Monday I'm going to write down um, all my stats okay so starting right now we're at 190.2 I did my chest at 41 my waist at sorry guys we have the construction going on here so it's kind of crazy but anyways chest is 41 waist is 35 hips are 44 these are all in inches by the way right thigh was 24 left thigh was 23.5 right arm was 12 inches <laughs> left arm was 12 inches Leo was dying at me and I also have I, t I have taken pictures so even if the scale is real petty and doesn't move very quickly I have pictures and we're also doing measurements because it's more than just what the scale says guys you got to look at like inches lost and in progress okay so I have that ready to go and so that part's done and then today we're gonna do um, I have the legs today's gonna be a leg day with the resistance bands I'm gonna do abs and cardio um, yeah, and then I will write down everything as I do it right here, okay? I also charge my Apple Watch so I can record like all the calories and everything. I have Minnie Mouse because Minnie Mouse is the cutest. I love her. So I have that, and then I also charge my um, earpods, which I gotta clean because I have makeup on them. But I also charge my earpods and so I can listen to some music and get pumping. And then I bought a, a couple of these. These are the Alani New Energy Drinks. This is Watermelon Wave. I got this at um, Target. This isn't sponsored or anything like that, but um, I've been wanting to try that brand. So oh wow I didn't even check the carbs there's uh six total carbs with two sugar alcohol so four net carbs per can but um I'm okay with that so we'll just add that in though I will scan this I think just 10 calories not bad but um I had seen that Felicia Heatherly Heatherly girl I'm using them and she likes them so I figured I'll give it a try I really like her I if you guys don't follow her she was like a Weight Watchers person and then lost like a hundred and something pounds she did really good and she's off of Weight Watchers now. She's just like intuitively eat, intuitive eating. And she's like really big into like um, weightlifting. And she looks great. She just had a tummy tuck and stuff. She's like doing wonderful. So I really like to watch her. And um, I find her to be really inspirational. So uh, yeah, um, I'm going to use this. So I'm going to go ahead and start my drink. I got dressed, like not really dressed dress. I'm just wearing some joggers and a um, t-shirt. All right, so uh, I have a self-tanner on my face. And I went to go wash it off and our, our water's off right now. Not like because we didn't pay our bill, but because they're they're hooking up the water downstairs. So I literally had like a big hand of soap and I like went to turn on the water and there was nothing and I was like, the hell? So I was like, how do I get out of paper towel? But um, yeah, so we have no water right now. Pajama day for her. So anyways, I'm gonna throw my hair up, but I had found this t-shirt in my drawer because I told you I went through and it's just really baggy on me. I definitely could tell that like I gained weight right here in my midsection. So yeah. Oh, I got it here tight. Thank you, though, baby. But yeah, so we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna we'll try this out together. This is the watermelon wave. Let's try it. Don't drink out of that mommy's drinks. I think I might have a cold. I don't know. I don't know if it's allergies or a cold, but I took my allergy medicine and it's not working. So let's try it. Wow, oh, this is really good. You wanna try some of this, Lee? I'll give you a straw. No, it's an energy. No, what? you had your mouth on it. I'll give you a straw. Let me pour it in a cup. Already had your, you're already contaminated. Well, this one's really good. I like this. I do like this. We'll probably order some more of these. So, yeah, today's going to be resistance bands. Oh, also, if you guys are on Instagram, follow me. We're doing like a check in with everybody, and it's called. Uh, Okay, it's called hashtag here for it together. So I had to find something that nobody else had and something that was like, you know, that I would say. So I always say if you're here for it, so here for it together. So make sure you are tagging, jumping in. Let's do this. I am so pumped. Um, I'm, I already know I'm going to kill it this month. I'm like so excited. I got pictures like it's like I'm starting all over again and I am like so here for it. Also, let me show you what I ordered from Amazon um, at two o'clock this morning. It's like a bonsu ball, but it has like, there you go, but it has like all the resistance bands with it. And so there you go. You guys can see. Yeah. 
that's what I got. And you can do like upper body, lower body workouts with it. And it was actually a really good deal. It's 60 bucks, but it has a coupon with it. And if you apply the coupon, you get 10% off. So um, yeah, I ordered that for myself to go along with my workouts. But all right, I'm going to take this workout. I'm going to put my watch on. I'm going to get me a playlist on Spotify for working out. I'm going to put my hair up. Okay, so here is my fitness log that I wrote out. So today I did just some resistance bands. I'm going to do leg day twice a week just because... That's my biggest problem area, so I always do legs twice a week. Um, one day, um, yeah, I just do different legs. So today I did band squats, and they were the 40-pound uh, resistance bands. I did four sets of 15. I did the side leg lifts with the green tube. They're just resistance tubes, 15 each leg. I did a glute bridge with thigh press, and I used the pink band. They're just, again, resistance bands that I have, 15. Um, I did the ab twist with the green tube, which is another resistance tube, 20 each side. And for that, it was a 25 minute workout with 172 total calories burned. I did the kickboxing game for uh, the switch. I did 29, uh, it was 29 minutes and 30 seconds and 220, 207 calories. I don't know if I like that one, honestly. It's okay. Um, I think I might. I did, I did really bad on it. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to see if I can find any other uh, cardio games I can do. Um, just because that one, I kind of hurt my shoulder too. <laughs> and I was really bad at it. I was really, really bad at it. Becky's doing it right now, but I was really bad at it. But I still, I got up, I moved, I'm sweating. And let's see, I started at 11, uh, 11.05. And then I finished my whole workout at, what time is it? at 1210 so a little bit over an hour which I think is pretty good I'm gonna write that in and yeah so here is our first day back on the grind all right so I'm gonna do one of those like if you see my what was it uh what video did I do oh the Super Bowl the Super Bowl video and I made like those high rollers I'm gonna do that for lunch I'm gonna use uh one of these um wellness high fiber wraps I'm gonna use some of this deli fresh smoked turkey I think I'm gonna do about three ounces of that I'm going to do about 7 grams of this Oscar Mayer um, bacon bits. Instead of using cream cheese, I'm actually going to use a laughing cow cheese just because it's a little bit lighter. And then I'm also going to use some of the light Mexican blend and just uh, kind of do it that way. But real easy and get it done. Okay, so here is our lunch. We are doing the little high rollers. Um, I had everything in there. It's just the... Um, Oscar Mayer turkey, some of that bacon. I had everything all weighed out and I just rolled them all together. I did season them with a little bit of dill and some garlic. And then I added a little classic kosher dill pickle. And this is what's for lunch. Really good. I love these things. They're so good. Okay, so I'm going to have a little snack. I made these the other day. I got these Brussels sprouts from Costco and I just went ahead and cooked them up because I was afraid that... Um, they were going to go bad. So I just like a bowl cooking of some veggies. And what I did was I just cooked them in the frying pan. I just sliced them up. And then I added um, about five or six pieces of turkey bacon to the whole bag. I just cooked them with some salt, pepper, and garlic. And then I topped them with a little Parmesan cheese. So I have quite a big container. So I can eat the rest of these tomorrow. And But I'm going to have this for um, just, I'm still a little hungry. So I'm going to go ahead and snack on this. But they're really, really good. It's better if you use like the pork bacon because the pork bacon will give off the grease. But I'm trying to stay away and be a little bit more of a low fat. But it's pretty good. The Parmesan cheese on top like makes it hit real good. So I'm just going to heat this up and that's what I'm going to have. Okay, so let's talk dinner, shall we? We still have uh, stuff in the basement still getting worked on and we can't use the faucet. <laughs> So we can't like run any water, we can't flush the toilet, nothing. Um, so we're going to be real simple here and we're going to do these kale mozzarella burgers from Amy Lou. Um, sorry if I sound really nasally. I don't know if this is a cold or this is allergies. I'm very, very committed to the fact that it's allergies and I'm thinking it's from like all the sawdust and the dust from downstairs and it's just been triggering me because yeah. Anyways. So sorry if I sound extra nasally. Uh, but yeah, we're going to do these kale and mozzarella burgers. These are char boiled chicken burgers. I got these at Costco. They're really good. Lee, are these pretty good? Yeah, they're decent. Considering they're like chicken burgers? Yeah, I hate chicken burgers and they're pretty good. He says he hates chicken burgers, but these are pretty good. So they're not bad. Um, I'm going to do two. Lee's going to do two. I'm going to do mine bunless. I'm pretty sure he's going to do his over toast and stuff like that. But this is the macros. So eight fat, uh, three carbs. 
one gram of sugar and 21 protein. I'm going to do two of these. And then, all right, here we go. Sorry, I had a sneeze. But I'm going to do two cups. I think I did two cups. Pretty sure it was two cups. Um, it's the Organic Mediterranean Crunch Chopped Salad Kit. So I'm going to do this, but I'm not going to do the balsamic vinaigrette because I just don't think I would like that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do those. And then I'm not going to do these... Uh, flatbread strips either. I'll, I mean, I'll leave them on the side so Leo can put it in his, but I won't put those in mine. And then I'll do like my uh, raspberry vinaigrette. So um, this is what we are going to have for dinner. And to end off this full day of eating, a little sweet treat, we're going to have one Chalk Zero white chocolate peanut butter cup. Oh, they're so freaking good. If you guys wanted to check out any of the Chalk Zero stuff, I will leave my discount code down below. Oh, so good. So yeah, we're going to do that. And then I'm going to have my little treat. And then I'm going to put everything into my, um, you know, calorie counter. And then I will go over it with you guys. All right, my friends. So we're going to go over our full day of eating. It's 6 o'clock. Only thing I'm going to have now is um, after I have that white chocolate peanut butter cup, I'll have just one more glass of green tea before bed. And then that will be it. So, let's see. I'm still trying to figure this out. So here's the total calories, right? I, I came under eight under budget. Is that how it goes? Yeah. Hold on. All right, so total calories consumed, 1592. Um, yeah, so eight, eight left for a total of 1600 calories a day, which I think is good. And then let's go back to that. And then let's go to our macro breakdown. So total fat is 76.2 carbs. Uh, total carbs was 93.9 with fiber of 39.7. So we're looking real good on low carbs and protein was 136.5 grams. So it's about grand total of 54 total or net carbs, which is good. I'll take that. That's perfection. Okay. So our first day, like really on the grind, is looking good. So we had all of our food in there. This is the um, Lose It. This is the Lose It app. So I felt like I felt like this was a really good full day of eating. And then um, the exercise isn't in here. I don't know how to do all that. Like I don't know if I can track that with here, but whatever. And then we're gonna go over to our health app. And let's look at this. So we, uh, for a grand total of 457 calories, we burned today working out. So we worked out for 54 minutes. And yeah, so I thought that was really good. I'm really proud of us. We're doing really good. We tracked, we, um, we worked out. I, you know, I showed you everything I was working out with. I did my, you know, my gratitude journal this morning and I really feel like I'm starting really well. So hopefully you guys are enjoying these full days of eating and you're coming along with me and make sure if you guys are, are on Instagram to follow me over there. We have a hashtag going and it's, uh, we're doing hashtag here for it together. So if you guys are doing any, you're falling around and you want to share it with our friends, just uh, hashtag here for it together. And we're all sharing that app and or that hashtag and i will see y'all the next one bye friends